In this video we are going to talk about the Flamingo Tongue Snail, so before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The Flamingo Tongue Snail, an odd ocean creature with toxic skin, is a bizarre ocean creature with toxic skin. Flamingo tongues are predators that prey on soft corals and are known for their aggressive behavior. Here are a few intriguing facts about this little ocean species to consider. So, let's get started. Appearance The flamingo tongue snail is a small marine snail that is brightly colored and visually beautiful. It can be found in tropical water bodies due to its small size and bright colors. It is easily distinguished by the bright orange and yellow stripes on its body, as well as the black marks on its back. When it comes to snails, you might be forgiven for thinking that the bright colors and patterns on their shells were actually part of the snail's body. Even though this is true of many snails, whether they live on land or in water, the flamingo tongue snail is unique in that its brightly colored and soft body completely surrounds and protects its shell, which is unexpected given that it is totally composed of white. For the most part, the length of flamingo tongue snails ranges from 0.75 to 1 inch in length, and they have a wavy foot beneath their bodies that they use to move and eat, as well as two soft, antennae-like appendages on the sides of their heads that contain their eyes. Flamingo tongue snails can be found all over the world and range in size from 0.75 to 1 inch in length. Diet and Habitat It is possible to find this species of snail in tropical and subtropical seas of the western Atlantic Ocean, which extends from the shores of North Carolina and Brazil to the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. It can also be found in the eastern Pacific Ocean, but not in the western Pacific Ocean. There are tropical and subtropical waters all over the western Atlantic Ocean, including the Caribbean, where this species can be found. The Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, which is located in the state of Florida, is included in this category. This fish favors shallower waters between the depths of 0 and 100 feet, and he prefers shallower waters over deeper seas. Because they prey on the soft tissue of some Gorgonian corals, they like to concentrate in groups of corals where they can be sheltered from predators, which allows them to feed more efficiently. They are most active during the day, and they are dormant during the night, attaching themselves to the Gorgonian coral hosts in order to keep themselves safe. Snails that feed on soft tissue such as sea fans, sea plums, and other Gorgonian corals, among other things, secrete enzymes through their foot. These enzymes allow them to scrape off and digest the soft tissue of these and other Gorgonian corals. Despite the fact that the flesh of these corals is extremely toxic to other species, the flamingo tongue snail has evolved to be resistant to these toxins, and has even gone so far as to make itself toxic as a means of self-preservation. Although there are giant predatory fish that are not bothered by the unpleasant taste and are immune to the toxins produced by the flamingo tongue snail, which can be found in large numbers, there are also smaller predatory fish that may be found in the same areas. Because these predatory fish help to maintain the balance of flamingo tongue snail populations, they also help to ensure the long-term survival of coral reef ecosystems. Despite the fact that flamingo tongue snails are not eaten by people, diverse and other reef visitors will be captivated by their vibrant colors and will collect snails off the coral, only to discover later that their shells are a plain white in color. Life History For the most part, flamingo tongue snails do not go through a period of sexual development throughout their lives, in contrast to other types of snails. Due to the fact that they are solitary creatures, they establish mated partnerships at any time of the year when males and females come into contact with one another. Females lay their eggs on the exposed skeletons of Gorgonian corals that have been exposed as a result of flamingo tongue snail nibbling on the corals. The eggs are laid on the skeletons of Gorgonian corals once they have been fertilized. Roughly 10 days after being incubated in the laboratory, each egg can contain up to 300 embryos, which hatch after being incubated for approximately 10 days. Larvae float freely in the water column once they have hatched, grazing on plankton, as they proceed through the stages of metamorphosis to reach their juvenile and adult stages, following which they settle on reefs for the rest of their lives. Scientists believe flamingo tongue snails can live for at least two years, if not longer. It is not known how long they can survive in the wild. Threats and Conservation 
Despite the fact that flamingo tongue snails are not classified to be threatened or endangered, overcollection by snorkelers and divers poses a threat to their long-term existence in the ocean. Healthy populations of these snails contribute to the maintenance of the balance of coral reef communities, however, threats to their ecosystems can eliminate predators and create opportunities for snail populations to flourish, resulting in increased damage to the reefs on which they live, which are already under threat from climate change, ocean acidification, physical damage, and other factors, among other factors. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.